Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy and today guys I'm going to be showing you how to make a Game Pass shop. So for starters we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are open. If Explorer and Properties not open we want to head to the top, I hit click on View and enable Explorer and Properties. So now we want to head over to Started UI in Explorer and we want to click on the plus button next to Started UI and insert a Screen UI. Then inside that Screen UI you want to insert a frame. We want to re rename this frame to Main Frame. Once you've renamed it to mainframe, we want to expand it over the whole entire screen. And then we want to go expand it to the whole entire screen. Then we want to set the background transparency to one to make it see through. Now that you've made the mainframe, we want to go and click the plus button next to the mainframe and you want to insert a text button. This is going to be the button that the player clicks on, clicks on and then the shop UI will show. So this is going to be the shop button. You can also use an image if you want. You can just change this uh, in, instead of a text button. You want to just put it in like a image button right, uh, right there. Image button. But for this tutorial, we're just going to be making a simple shop one. So you want to scroll down and you want to adjust it to whatever you want. The text, I'm just going to be making it shop. We'll set it to scaled and we'll set it to just a bit of a different font. Just like that. You can change the background. You can really customize it to whatever you want. So now that you've finished making your shop button, we now want to go and click on the screen GUI again and click on the plus button. Just collapse that so we don't see that there. Click on the plus button and insert another frame. This is going to be our shop frame. So here we want to shame, name this to shop frame. And then we want to move it around to your liking. So let's just go and make maybe the UI something like that size, maybe a tiny bit bigger, maybe something like that. And let's just line it up to the middle just like that. Then in our shop frame, we want to go and insert a either a text button or an image button. It's completely up to you. If you want your Game Pass logo to be on this UI, image button is for you. But if you just want a simple text like maybe a trail Game Pass, you want to make a text button for this. But for this tutorial, I'll just be keeping it as a, as a text button. So now inside that text button, we want to go and click the plus button and insert a local script. For now, we can just go and close this local script. But let's just go and change the text size it up really really do whatever and customize the button for this tutorial i'm just going to be making this a let's just say it's a vip game pass just something like that then to customize it even more we want to go and click back on our shop frame and click on the plus button again then insert a text label we're going to be putting a bit of like a text up here saying maybe exclusive shop or game pass store so we want to expand this all the way over there you can size it to however you want feel free to customize it as much as you want then we're going to be setting the border pixel, border size pixel so that we don't have any outline on the text label. Then we want to be re uh, changing the text by let's just call this Game Pass Store, maybe exclusive shop. It's completely up to you. Uh, and then we'll let's click on text scale and let's change the font to maybe something like that. And as you guys can see, we have now got a nice title on what this UI is. You can do the same thing for the VIP Game Pass free on the text button you can change the border pixel to zero and maybe change the font whatever feel free to customize it to whatever you like so once you've finished customizing your ui we want to go back here and we want to find this button right here so that is going to be in our main frame so we want to click on the text button and we want to click on the local script we then want to remove all the previous code then you would want to go down to the description of this video copy script one it will probably be named something like mainframe text button local script or just simply script one, copy that script and paste it back in Roblox Studio, just like that. So now that we've inserted this code, we wanna go up here and click on the X button next to local script. And now we wanna go and insert the code for this VIP game pass button. We wanna go and close all this, and then we wanna to go to our shop frame, expand it, and we wanna go and find our local script inside our text button. Now you wanna remove all this previous code and then go down to the description of this video, copy and paste, script two probably going to be named something like shop frame text button local script copy that and bring it back to roblox studio and paste it in we do want to go ahead go to line three and change your uh, this id to your game pass id so right now this is the current id you want to go to your roblox game pass id copy the id that is in the top link and bring it back to roblox studio and paste it in here so once you've inserted the code and you've changed the old ID to your Game Pass ID, you want to go up here and click on the X button, and we want to go test this out. Just before we test this out, we want to go to the shop frame, close it here, 
and we want to set this uh, scroll down to the properties and set visible to disable because what we want to do is if someone joins into the game and they click on this button then only that ui will show up because if we leave it visible when someone first joins in they're going to see that ui so to go test it out we want to go up here and click on play as you guys can see we have just loaded into the base plate and if we go and click on the shop button over here this ui will open up and if we click on the vip game pass text button as you guys can see the transaction page will open up for the game pass now let's say you wanted to have multiple buttons with different types of game passes all you do you just duplicate the text button and move it anywhere around on the frame and if we go and click on the shop button again the ui will close people can do this as much as they want so there are a couple more cool features we can add to this game pass store so if someone already owns this game pass and they try to purchase it again we can make it so that a, a text is shown up here saying that they already own the game pass so what we want to do we want to go to the screen gui click on the plus button i actually have no idea where my plus button's gone but i'm just going to try click around and see if i can get it there we go so if we go and click on frame now we want to go and rename this frame to text frame because this is going to be the frame which is holding our text just like that and you could really scale this put it anywhere you want uh for this tutorial i'm just going to be putting it in the corner and setting the background transparency to one now i'm going to go and click on the plus button next to text frame you guys should see a, a plus button but for me i don't see a plus button for some odd reason and now we want to go and place this kind of maybe just over here let's just expand it a bit maybe something something like that would maybe look good and then we want to go and change the text of this uh, text label here so we want to change this to maybe say something like um you already own this game pass oh own this game pass Let's go and make it say something like that. Let's tech, uh, scale it so it shows like that. Change the font so it looks a bit better. Just like that. And actually what we can do to maybe make it even look a bit better is change the back background transparency to one so that the only thing that is shown is the text. So as you guys can see, if someone purchased this game pass and they already own the game pass, this text will be shown. So you already own this game pass. So now what we want to do, we want to actually go and close this and we want to go to our shop frame. Now in, we want to click uh, on the local script and we want to adjust a couple of things in the local script. So just before, uh, just after line 10, we want to go and make a new line. So now we want to go and type in script.parent, uh, sorry, uh, dot parent, script.parent dot parent, dot parent again, and then dot the text frame be sure to name it text frame and name it everything that I've got here. Name each frame what I have here. So text frame, shop frame, and main frame. You want to make sure to do that. All parts of the code will not work. So dot text frame dot visible equals true. We want to set it that like that. Then we want to make a new line and type in script dot parent dot parent dot visible. And then we want to equal false. Because what this is doing now, we are going this front line here. It goes from this script to the parent of the script, which is the text button, to the parent of the text button, which is the frame, to the parent of the shop frame, to the screen is UI, and then it goes to the text frame. And we want to we set this text frame to visible. So when you first join in the game, the uh, the, um, the text frame will not be visible. But if you already have that part, uh, game pass, the text frame will be visible. Not visible, visible, just like that. And then on here, what it does, it goes from the script to the text button to the shop frame. And we set the shop frame to false. Basically meaning that when that UI, when the text frame UI is, showing, is being shown, that the game pass shop uh, UI is actually not being shown. You don't have to add that. But I'll show you guys what I mean in a, a better soon. But for this tutorial, that's what we're going to be doing. Then we want to add a bit of a wait time on how long the text frame UI is shown. So we want to write wait. Let's just put two seconds there. And then we want to rewrite this all again. Script.parent.parent.parent.textframe um, equals 
Oh, sorry, dot visible equals false. Because now what we're doing after uh, after two seconds, the text frame will uh, not be able to be seen. So now if we go and make a new line, we want to write script dot parent dot parent dot visible equal true because now we are making the shop frame visible again. So now what we want to do, we want to go and click on the X button up here and we want to set the text frame visibility to disabled just like that. And we'll do the exact same thing with the shop frame. So let's go test it out now. If we go and click on the play button up here, as you guys can see, we are back in Roblox Studio. And if we go and click on the shop button here, and if we click on the VIP game pass, because we already bought that game pass, the UI, this Game Pass store UI disappears and that text goes up again. So if we click on it again, you already own this Game Pass for two seconds and then that text disappears. One last time, you already own this Game Pass and the text disappears. If you do not want this Game Pass store to disappear, all you want to do is remove this part of the script in the shop frame. You want to do this for all your text buttons. So we just want to remove these two lines here, this line here, and also this line here. If you do not want the shop UI to disappear, line 12 and line 15. Keep in mind, you do not have to add this. It's just if you want to have some cool other features in your shop. So some of you may come across a problem where the UI is not scaled and it's kind of all over the screen. What you want to do, you want to go down to the description of this video and get this plugin. It's called Offset to Scale UI Scale Plugin. Basically what this does, this automatically resizes the UI depending on the screen type or screen size. So what we wanna do with the frames here, we're just gonna, I find it works if I just um, do them individually, but you can try doing them however you like. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the main thing here I'm going to click on the thing and offset to scale and the same with the text label offset to scale shop frame offset to scale text button offset to scale text label offset to scale main frame offset to scale text button offset to scale and we don't need to do anything with a local script so now everything should be set to scale if it isn't just go and redo that whole process again but basically what this does it resizes the UI depending on the size of the Roblox screen or your computer screen. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.